you may put your hat back, but he stay off. Ms. Bronner is going to lead you in the song that you have prepared. So please give her your attention. Red, white, 
A few years ago, a friend of mine came over and we was going to work in Cheesy's restaurant and open it. And we noticed the park out here. And if you'll look over there where the brown sign is, that is all about his cousin. And his cousin lived about three miles down the road on a farm growing up. He joined the Navy. He wanted to be a deep sea diver and so on. Somehow in the Army, he lost a leg. And he went through a lot of turmoil. But he got, he got to be the diver that he wanted to be, the first black diver that ever accomplished that. So there's a movie called Man of Honor, and Cheesy put up the sign out there, and it's all about him. So if you'd like to read and find out who is really the beginning. Uh, when we looked at the park, uh, we thought it would be something to honor all veterans. And Cheesy gave us permission. A friend of mine, Gail Hornback, and I decided that we would put up a rock wall. Jerry Ramsey, who is deceased now, hauled all the rock to us, and Gail and I raid, we uh, put up the rock wall here. Uh, later, we needed a gazebo, according to our sketch, and the People's First Baptist Church of Sonora came down, and the men all put up the gazebo for us. The inmates in Hardin County came down and put, up the, put in the sidewalks. Uh, people of the community for instance, one day, uh, Robin Burba said, hey, I'd like to know how to do that wall. And I said, great, come on out, I'll show you. So she actually helped me build a section of it over there. Other people would come by and make comments or uh, give donations. And that's, we have the, all the flags are kept up by no, donations inside Cheesy's Restaurant. And uh, those, all the divisions of, uh, of our uh, servicemen are up there. And uh, that's for everyone to see. Uh, we had flags everywhere, but it was hard to keep up, and we only really need these flags 
and of course our American flag. Um, the sign was made just for the veterans and welcome to Sonora. There is a, um, with the roof on it out there, all those names. On one side, it has all the veterans in our area that are passed on and it's in honor of them. On the other side are the people that are veterans that haven't passed on. But this was a contribute for our veterans, which we really appreciate. I didn't count on that. Um, and believe it or not, I have no military, just one in my family, but I just appreciate you all so much because we can live in America and be protected by you. We love you and we thank you for that. Um, like I said, I didn't expect this. I thank all you kids are, for coming out and everyone. And I think it's such, so nice that they're bringing this back into the schools and, and letting you know what America means, why we're here, why we're safe. And um, appreciate you teachers, appreciate all of you for coming out and sharing this with us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Well. All right, to wrap up our um, celebration honoring our veterans, we have two students. I would like for them to come join me up here, please. And the students were given the opportunity to write about what Veterans Day means to them. And so these two girls are going to share some personal thoughts before we conclude today. Veterans Day. Everyone says it's important, but what does it really mean? Well, it depends on the person. What Veterans Day means to me is that my grandma, grandpa, and other grandpa, several great grandparents, and many other extended family members have all served in different branches of the military. My uncle Mike is currently in the Navy. I think of Veterans Day as a day of joy and to celebrate veterans who have served our country in the past and are serving our country now. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if you served our country? I think about it all the time. I think it would be really hard. Serving our country 24-7 would be a lot of work. Not quitting even though there are so many dangers, and still they risk their lives for our freedom. If you ask me, they deserve to have a day honoring them. Veterans fight and have fought for our country and freedoms, whether we appreciate it or not, whether we know it or not, whether we care or not, whether we like it or not. I'm very grateful for veterans and all they have done. They do amazing things for our country. I'm also very grateful for the sacrifices of their families. Without our veterans, we wouldn't stand a chance against the world. So thank you veterans for everything you have done and will continue to do for our country, our rights, and our freedom. And next we have Avery Jefferson. Ever since I've, I was little, I wonder about this great guy. His name is Theodos Jefferson, my father. He may not be, mean much to you, but he means the world to me. In my opinion, my dad was one of the best veterans out there. I never got to spend a lot of time with my dad because he was in the military uh, my whole life, and I had never got to really know him until two years ago. But when I met him, I knew he was a great guy. When I was little, I thought to myself, well, he better be a great vegetable if you miss veteran if you missed so much of my life because it's a waste of time if he wasn't. The true truth is he's a great soldier. He would die for people. In fact, he almost did. He got blown up and almost died. Now because of, he, he, now because of that, he's not in the Army. And I'm glad he's out of the Army so I can spend more time with him. The point is my dad sacrificed his life for the Army and I know I'd be scared to death if that happened to me. So like I said before, he might not mean much to you, but he means the world to me. All right, well, thank you, students, for your music. Ms. Bronner, thank you for helping them prepare that. And for our guests from the military and our friends from the community for coming out today, we hope you have a wonderful Veterans Day. And um, we thank you again for joining us today. So you all have a great day.